now with clear blue sky in Phoenix. But when we look at the desert and the way it does or does not absorb rainfall, that really comes into play when we're dealing with a system like Rosa. Heavy rain falling on that dry desert soil. Well, this is not that sandy soil of Florida. This isn't a lot of grassy areas that's able to absorb a lot of that water. And instead, that water falls and it just begins to pile up. It's not absorbing quick enough in. So you're seeing it pile up. Then you have topography play a role in this, it's going to get moving along with the slope. So again, the desert soil does not absorb rainfall fast enough. That rain accumulates. Now you've got some kind of terrain, those dry arroyos, those low spots, those river basins that are, are typically dry. Those get filled up and filled up quickly. And many times they even overflow their banks. And we deal with really significant and serious flash flooding. Flash lives up to its name here as those creek and riverbeds quickly flood across the southwest. And this is where we get that really dramatic video of uh, water going from a trickle to a uh, a plume of moisture as we work through some of these areas. And this so susceptible to epic flooding. The question remains. Could it be avoided? The House just passed the Disaster Recovery Reform Act to help fund disaster mitigation. Now it's on its way to the Senate, but will it be enough? Joining us now to talk about is former Fee Administrator uh, David Paulson. Uh, Mr. Paulson, thanks for joining us uh, uh, tonight. We take a look at what this new act does. It, it sets aside money for pre-disaster mitigation. Is that a good thing in your opinion, or how are we doing it now? Are we doing it the wrong way? We're more, more reactive than proactive? Yeah, we system like the ones that maybe were implemented after Katrina, New Orleans. You're mentioning, you know, being proactive rather than reactive. We, we know that it works. We know. Is there something to be learned from Florida for other states? Because not everyone seems to have. That desert soil is not going to be like the soil you have in other parts of the world. This isn't like rain falling across the plains where you've got the, the grassy fields that absorb that water. Instead, the heavy rain falls on the dry desert soil, and the dry soil just isn't able to absorb the rainfall quickly enough. So that rainfall accumulates right on the surface. That water is sitting there. But now... Gravity is going to play a role, and terrain, topography, will help to enhance the runoff. Uh, gravity works, so that water is going to move to the lower spots. And this is when we see those riverbeds, those creek beds quickly fill up, those arroyos. And, and they go from very little to raging rivers in a matter of moments. And by the way, flooding can occur far away from the heavy rain, which I think sometimes catches people off guard. They're out driving around and uh, caught by the flash flooding because of heavy rain that occurred well away from the location they are in. Well, parts of the Carolinas, they're still cleaning up from Hurricane Florence two weeks after landfall. The Weather Channel's Tevin Wooten is live in Conway, South Carolina, a community that is just ready for that water to finally go down so they can start that cleanup process.